Hello, how are you everyone? I hope you're good and I hope everything is going May the God is grace God is your side How are you? Repeat my name again I'm Tony, some people call me Sanit Others call me Kamati Pro But I guess everything is good for you And all the people you care, you care about In today's video, I've come to speak about something Something that all of us take for granted Something we don't take serious Something we all look at and say It's true But this time we should be serious There's a certain thing I'm going to show you How people are robbing other people in their day-to-day -day life How people are stealing the earth how people are stealing other people their hard earned money. I'm going to show you. And in this video, I'm going to warn, I'm giving a warning. And I'm also informing, it might not be a warning, but I'm informing you to be curious about some things that you do. In this video, there is a lady who was buying a cloth from street. So when he was buying it, he gave it to the seller put it in a polypen bag so that he can put it in his handbag and then move on so the woman buys from the lady from the lady buys from the man he pays the money and unpacking what the lady has bought he's packing something else he's ending up buying something which he has not even paid for he's taking what is what is not worth her money but is that what life should be? Is that how we should move on in this life? I think you're seeing that video. Right? People are stealing from others. In day, not even at night. But because we don't take things serious, we end up being cheated. And who loses? It's you. We should fight these scammers. How can somebody steal your heart and the money from you? You have worked hard to get that money. To buy for yourself something. To buy for your son, for your daughter, for your father, for your grandmother, for your mother, for your aunt. And then somebody steals it and goes away like that. Because of negligence no this shouldn't be well this we shouldn't practice this in 2020 when you buy something let's say from a street vendor pay for it when he when he handles your item to you check behind them check and see have i been given what i've paid for Check. Doesn't take time. Doesn't take hours. Just seconds. Check. We should fight these scammers. You see, you see, they call themselves smart, but should we should be smarter? And for your case, if you bought something from the street, it's not a permanent shop like you come back the next day and find him or her in the same place. Today he sells here, the other day he sells the other side, today he sells in the other street. So that means you keep on moving. Those are the people that even cheat, they spoil business. So you find people, you find just somebody, you go on the streets of Kampala in Uganda, where you this, they say Kampala streets. They are full of thieves. And you'll be like, thieves? So in that video, I want to inform the public i want to inform you my viewers i want to inform you my subscriber to be curious to be vigilant on such actions be vigilant on such actions we should put them to me and then my dear why do you buy from the street if you buy from the street make sure you check what you have paid for and 
month, a month back, I had a friend. Actually, it's him who I, who I inspired me to make this video. I wasn't to make it, but that friend of mine was hungry. He had, he had not even eaten anything. So he bought a soda on the streets. I was going to Mugende, that's in Uganda. I was going to Mugende district from Kampala. So he bought a bus going to, 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 to Mugende. As soon as the bus started, that's when he started opening the soda. And opening the soda, what he drank wasn't soda. The taste was different from the soda he had paid for. You know these scammers, like I think they added like food color and sugar and then they packed in a Coca-Cola bottle and then sold to the guy. You know the ingredients they used? You can get cancer from that. Buy, buy from a place where you can come back and complain. Buy from a place where you can make inquiries about what you have bought. That's why people, Africans, we end up dying. Because we buy things we don't even know. There are shops, there are supermarkets, there are boutiques. Why don't you go there? But why buy from the street? A street where you cannot even report somebody that I bought from such and such shop, but like at some workshops, let me say at my workshop here, when you buy like a TV, a sound system, and you get an effort with it, you can come back and complain. I'll give you a receipt showing that it's me whom you have entrusted with your money and I've given you the item you bought. But here, people are cheated seriously without even knowing. Seriously, people are cheated. They are being cheated. Serious cheating and stealing. Imagine you would see an item and say, I'd like to buy that. So, it, it will look good to you. Then you say, this month is salary. I'm going to use it to buy that item. So you save your money. For a month, waking up daily, going to work. Sometimes you're bullied to come back because you're soliciting money to buy that item. And when you go to the place where you're buying that item, you end up being cheated. The thief takes the money, does not give him the item, and you have nowhere to report him. Because you can buy from a vendor, you might not even recognize him the next day. Or he might not even recognize you the other day. You might not be having proof that you bought that item from him. So, you end up losing fully when you've lost because you're not curious you're not vigilant you're not even careful I learned this lesson years back I was cheated like that but to me it was a scam between a man and a woman but because I, I was vigilant I found out that they had cheated me, though they had left. But from that day, I learned to buy things from places that are recognized. I learned to buy things where I can call and inquire. That I bought this and this and this, but after such and such a time, it has got a such and such problem. What can you do for me? So somebody can tell you, bring it, we can replace. Or bring it, we can make it for you and then give it to you back after some time. That also works. But buying from the street, you are, you are the one losing. You're getting a substandard food. You're cheated. Tomorrow, 
you can't consult anybody about what you bought. In fact, you end up being a laughing stock for yourself. Because you can't tell somebody that they, they come into and say, you know, I bought such and such a cloth, you know, I'll just laugh at you. But let's be vigilant. Let's be vigilant. Let's take care of things that we bought from our money. Even you buy from some before you leave the place, confirm the item for if you're not sure, even if it's in a box but on a seat, open the box, check. Check inside. Is it what I bought given it to me? Check inside. It is worth your money. Don't feel ashamed to check in front of people. No, it's your money. You work for it. Since you work for that money, so you have to make sure you get what you paid for. You, you get in reverse your money. Okay? I'm not commanding you. But I'm only making you understand how life works. People are cheaters, people are scammers, unless you care yourself. They think they are smart. Let's be smart. Yes, I wish you a happy new year. I wish you a happy new year, the other video, but it's, it's not that I wish it to you the second time. Even the fourth time. If you look the tenth time, I think it's okay. Anyway, I wish you the best. May God bless you.